Hello everyone, so now let us start with our Azure Data Factory tutorial. So this will be the first video tutorial and in this video we are going to understand what is Azure Data Factory, how the pipeline works, how in a business architecture look like and where actually we use Azure Data Factory. So all the things we are going to understand in this particular video. Okay, before coming to the Data Factory, first let us start with the ETL. Okay, so what is ETL? ETL is nothing but a extract plus transform plus load okay now let us try to understand the etl first what is this etl and what is this extract transform and the load okay so generally what happens okay let me give you one of the scenario okay so suppose uh, you are working in any of the project suppose you have a website okay suppose you have a website so what actually happening from suppose this is your web application suppose you have a web application web application means so you have a any kind of the web a website that is available on the live okay and suppose you also have an application also suppose if this is a mobile application that is android or ios you can see and suppose you also have a transaction source from there actually you are getting a transaction data so what actually happening generally like this there are so many sources which we have available from these sources the continuously data which is coming okay coming okay the web app is generating mostly kind of the json kind of the file the application also transaction you will get to see the kind of the structure kind of the data okay so what actually we do as a part of the extract we try to extract the, all the data from a different resources which we are getting okay so in the in our case we are getting a data from a web application from a application from a transaction source like this we can have a multiple sources okay so what is our first step first step we are doing a extract we are extracting a data into a common space so this is our common space where all the data is coming and getting landed okay in generally what we can use here we can use s3 if you are using aws we can use a blob storage okay if we are using azure so we are extracting a data which is available which is coming from a different resources and this is a common space where actually we are extracting what is our next step after that whatever the data we are receiving right this data will not be in a proper format okay so we have to do some kind of the transformation transformation means we are doing a cleaning you can understand suppose you have to do any kind of the joining okay so what are the transformation let me give some of the example like if you want to do some kind of the joining if you want to do some kind of the union if you want to only select the specific uh, column like this the different different kind of the transformation which you can perform like the filtering and all okay because all the data is not important for you right and you want to do some kind of the transformation over so that is nothing but our t t means a transformation and finally what actually we'll do only the specific and whatever is important for our business use case that only we will load into the, our final destination final destination means our this will be our target location so whatever the transformation we have performed and whatever is important for our business use case that is the data we are going to uh, upload into the our final destination okay once we upload into a final destiny what happened this is the uh, this is the data which we can directly use it for our the reporting purpose this is directly we can use it for the reporting or the prediction and all okay because uh, if you will directly go and directly want to use from extract common space that will be a very complex and that will be very tedious stuff okay you have to do some kind of the transformation some type of the cleaning and you have to only the load into a final destination which is important from your business use case so that in a reporting layer you do not have to do extra work okay so like this actually the structure we generally follow so etl is nothing but a extract transform and load extracting a data from a different resources transforming and then we are loading okay so this is the general process we generally follow in any kind of the data warehousing any kind of the pipelines and all okay now in the same thing now let us try to understand the data factory in the same step whatever the i have explained about the uh, etl activity if you want to do in a cloud environment in a cloud in azure environment in azure cloud if you want to perform the etl activity if you want to perform the etl activity then you will use a azure data factory then you will go for the azure data factory that we call as a adf that we call as a adf so in adf also what actually we do 
we try to perform this ITL activity in Azure environment. So, so in Azure Data Factory, what actually we do, we try to create a pipeline. We will be having a data that is coming from a different resources. From that different resources, what actually we try to do? We try to do a copy activity. We try to do a, some kind of a transformation and we try to load into the final space. And from that final space, we try to uh, do our kind of the reporting. So the same ETL activity if you want to do in Azure space, we generally go for the Azure Data Factory and the step is also the similar like how actually we perform a ETL pipeline. I hope you understand about the ETL and uh, how actually Azure Data Factory works, right? So if you'll do a practical, you will get more idea about it. But you have to remember ETL is nothing but extracting a data from a different resources. After that, we try to do a, some kind of the transformation and finally we try to load it. And this kind of the thing, if you want to do in Azure space, then we generally go for the Azure Data Factory. Okay. Uh, okay. So the whatever the information which I have given, right? So let us try to explore more about it. So uh, as I said, like uh, these are the different resources you have. From there, the continuously data is coming. Okay. So what actually we try to do? Let us try to understand. We try to store into common space. Suppose all the things, whatever uh, the different sources are coming, we try. We are storing into a Azure blob storage okay what actually we are doing we are trying to store into Azure blob storage so this is nothing but our Azure blob let us try to understand this is as a Azure blob okay we will more we will think more about we will explore more about the Azure blob later but let us ex let us think like this all the source are coming into Azure blob storage so suppose this is our source one okay and this is from here the JSON data is coming and that is getting stored into one of the container. So under the blob storage you will be having a container. Like the container 1, container 2, container 3 like that you can have a multiple okay. This is source 2. This is also sending us some kind of the JSON data. Suppose this is source 3. From here the transition data is coming. This will be kind of the structure data you can say. Suppose from the SQL server you are getting a data. Uh, like this you also have a source 4. From there we are actually storing the data into a common space that is azure blob storage from here what actually we will do we will try to perform a adf activity in, in part of the adf activity what actually we do we will try to do a, some kind of the transformation this transformation can be anything uh, i told you right so what actually we can happen you, if you even if you want to do a joining if you want to do a, some kind of the lookup if you want to perform a scd scd1 scd2 uh, any kind of the pipeline if you want to create what is scd1 scd2 we will try to see later but this kind of the activity any kind of the pipeline if you want to develop this all we do do it into a adf india adf pipeline bit, okay in a adf structure okay suppose once you have done any kind of the transformation final activities you have to load it okay so what where actually we will load it we will try to load into a final destination that we call it as a and that we call it as a sync sync in a uh, adf term s i n k sync okay and this can be anything okay either you can store into blob sql anywhere wherever you want okay you can have a source anything you are going to store into uh, any of the common space after that you will try to do a adf pipeline where actually we try to do some certain kind of the pipeline creation transformation joining copy activity delete activity anything and finally we try to store into our final location that is our sync okay so this is nothing but uh, this is our uh, azure data factory pipeline so that is how in a uh, business also we work and that is how actually we try to uh, we try to do a activity in a azure data factory okay we will do a more practical and then we will try to understand more about it but um, in a from a beginner perspective we should understand about this like how actually the ETL pipeline works and how actually in a real data how actually this kind of the activity we do there are more things will come in the next video like we will try to understand more about the what is the integration runtime what is the seeing source okay what is the data set this all the thing we will understand more about in our next video but uh, as a common as a for the beginner perspective you should understand about the ETL and how actually in ADF space also how actually we try to perform a uh, ETL activity okay